a good evening to everyone here this evening. Um, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to this evening side event, Forest Landscape Restoration Implementation, the progress on the ground. So this evening, and um, my name is Adi Jokiakinyele from University of Ibadan, Nigeria, and I have the honor of moderating this event. So um, before we start, I would like to invite the Vice President, Dr. John Parotha, to give us his welcome remarks, and at the same time, he will briefly tell us the objective of this side event. So Dr. John, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you, to welcome you all uh, to this side event, Forest Landscape Restoration Implementation, Progress on the Ground. Uh, this is a topic of, of, of particular interest to me. In fact, it's, it's what I've spent most of my career engaged in, some form of uh, restoration research, uh, mostly, mostly in tropical regions. Uh, political support for restoring degraded lands has increased significantly in recent years. This is exemplified by the Bond Challenge Global Policy Initiative, as well as the Initiative 20 times 20, a country-led effort to restore 20 million hectares of, of deforested and degraded land in Latin America and the Caribbean. The United Nations has declared a decade on ecosystem restoration, 2021 to 2030, that aims to massively scale up the restoration of degraded ecosystems. Restoring degraded forests and forest landscapes has an important role in the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda through the SDGs, particularly SDG 15 on life on land and its associated targets uh, related to restoration. During this session, uh, we'll be introduced to a number of FLR initiatives these snapshots, so to speak, will be used as a starting point to discuss progress made as well as lessons learned in FLR implementation in a variety of socioeconomic, political, and environmental contexts around the world. The intention is to reach beyond the perspectives of individual projects, sectors, or actors in order to offer a multi-dimensional glimpse of FLR implementation on the ground. In the process, a number of lessons learned common to FLR work across countries will be, will be identified and highlighted. These lessons will be very useful for ongoing and future FLR planning and implementation efforts. The special format of this session includes videos on each of the countries and interviews and conversations with local scientists and networking. Videos about the landscapes that have been the subject to analysis will be presented, each followed by an assessment concentrating on one important lesson learned. The FLR Snapshot Project and this event today would not be possible without the generous support of the German Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation, and Nuclear Safety, BMU. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Paruda. Um, as um, he mentioned, you know, this event and the whole project would not have been possible if we've not had the support of the German Ministry, um, Ministry of Environment, Nature Conservation, and Nuclear Safety, BMU. So the ministry actually planned to be represented at this meeting, but unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, Ms. Brer, um, yeah, Ms. Brer was supposed to be here, could not come, and so she has ask them, Dr. Klein, to please present a statement on our behalf. So Dr. Klein, thank you. Thank you very much, Juki. I'm delivering this statement on behalf of the German Federal Ministry for the Environment. Regrettably, no one from the ministry was able to attend this event in person due to unforeseen other commitments on the national level. So I have been asked to convey to you their sincere apologies for not coming. The colleagues from the BMU started this welcome remark with nothing is as powerful as an idea whose time has come. Forest 
And landscape restoration, technically speaking, is not a recent innovation in forest science. Concepts already exist for decades for different climate zones, different aims of restoration, be it also reforestation, at different scales of the landscape. However, forest landscape restoration has gained a lot of momentum since 2011, since the Bond Challenge has been launched in a joint effort by the German Ministry of the Environment, IUCN, and the Global Partnership on Forest and Landscape Restoration. It was when the global climate community was negotiating the deals on Red Plus, whose primary aim was to stop deforestation and forest degradation but also included activities on enhancing carbon stocks. This is where FLR is perfectly fitting in well. Since the beginning of the Bond Challenge, 59 countries or provinces have pledged to restore more than 170 million hectares, and we are very much on track regarding the New York Declaration, which followed that on forest goal to reach 350 million hectares by 2030. Beyond global recognition, regional alliances such as the African Forest Restoration Initiative, also the initiative in Latin America, 20 by 20, created momentum on the regional level aiming at action on the ground. Central Asia and Caucasus are about to follow, and also in Southeast Asia has started a process towards FLR. Within those regional alliances, countries have a better chance to find strategic partners for FLR and to exchange lessons learned. Briefly, the start of the Bond Challenge triggered a wave of enthusiasm as well as participation. Finally, I would like to point out that the United Nations General Assembly in March 2019 decided to declare the UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration from 2021 to 2030. This is much broader than only FLR, but for sure FLR plays an important role and given the scientific knowledge and technical expertise already available around the globe in this particular field, we are already well prepared to scale up the actions. Ladies and gentlemen, when the honeymoon is over, the real day of work and day of business starts. FLR is a means to an end and that, in order to be successful, requires sound and intersectoral planning, as well as site-adapted management and a lot of additional technical expertise. This is where science comes in. The ministry financially supported scientific FLR workshops in Rwanda, in El Salvador, in Puerto Rico, and lately also in Sri Lanka in 2018. In order to identify gaps, but also to point out where and what kind of knowledge is already available. We are financially supporting the study whose results are about to be presented here in this very session. Our hope is that these results are appropriate to foster action on the ground. Scaling up action and connecting forest across the landscape is a major aim of the Bonds Challenge. Those engaged in regional alliances need this kind of guidance to create resilient and productive landscapes, creating socio-economic benefits and environmental benefits at the local level. We need science to guide implementation on the regional and local level. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you enjoy the side event and finally have a lively discussions on the finding. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Klein. Now, the next session is um, what we call Ask the Locals. So there are some locals who have had um, a period of um, interaction in their various countries and landscapes. And so in this session, we're going to have presentation of videos about the landscapes that have been subjected to analysis. And um, each video will be followed by a short interview by a local scientist who led the research and the analysis in their various countries. So um, the interview will be concentrating on one important lesson that was learned from that country. But the thing we want everybody to understand is this. Even though we'll be concentrating on one lesson learned for each country, it does not mean that there are no other lessons. There were actually a series of lessons that were learned. But because of a time constraint, we've selected only one lesson 
per country. Apart from that, it is also important to note that these lessons are not just relevant in their country, it's also applicable to all other countries. So that any country going into FLR should not think that those lessons are just for those other countries and not for their own. And that's why we're all here today to learn about all these lessons. So um, at the same time, we've also made arrangements for online submission of questions. And um, around the hall, there will be sticky notes and papers for you to submit. On the screen, we have um, the question that can be sent to tiny.cc.flr2009. Just scan the code and your question will be submitted online. So I hope we'll get everyone to do that. Um, then at the same time, we'll also have a trending Twitter handle. We should have that on the screen, okay? Hashtag rest um, restoration um, snapshots for this session. So please feel free to send your comments and retweet information on the Twitter handle. Thank you very much. So for this evening, we're going to have these videos from nine countries. And the selection, the sequence is going to be in alphabetical order. There's no preference for any country. So this evening, it's my delight to take you with me to the country of Bangladesh.